Okay. So let's start the discussion. Uh, do you have any query? I have seen you have sent me the homework. I, I will check it and will let you know in the class only. Is everything fine or not? So uh, do you have any query from there? No, ma'am. Okay, then no worries. Let's start the discussion. So we are going to start exercise 13.3, right? Yes, ma'am. We have already discussed 13.2 completely. Today we'll be starting exercise 13.3. Here the question says, the first one, this topic is totally based on conversion of solid. So when we are converting one solid into another solid, the volume of both the solid will remain same. So that's that concept we are going to apply over here in each and every, like mostly all the problems. That if you are uh, taking a sphere, okay, and breaking it and making a cone out of it, then the volume of this sphere and the volume of cone will remain same. Because exactly the same material we are using, that much only material we are having to make a cone. So the volume of both the shape will remain same only, okay? So let's uh, start with the first question, where the first question says a metallic sphere of radius 4.2 centimeter. So we are having a metallic sphere whose radius is 4.2 centimeter is melted and recast into a shape of cylinder. So this metallic sphere whose radius is 4.2 centimeter is melted and we are recasting it into a shape of cylinder now. Of radius 6 centimeter. find the height of the cylinder. We have to find the height of the cylinder. As I said, whenever we are recasting one shape to another shape, volume of both the shape will be same because, because we are using the same material in both the shapes. That shape you have just uh, melted, you got some material and that material only you are using to make another shape. That means volume of the previous shape and volume of this shape will remain same. We know the volume of this particular sphere is four third pi r cube. We know the volume formula for the cylinder is pi r square h. And since we are recasting it and melting, melting it and recasting it into another shape, both the volume will remain same. Here we know already the radius that is 4.2 centimeter for the sphere. We already know the radius for the cylinder that is six. What we don't know over here is the height. So if you will be doing 4 by 3 pi r cube, at the place of r, you are going to put spheres radius is equals to pi r square, that is 6 square into h. From here, can you see easily we will be able to get the value of height of the cylinder? Are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. Can you see the screen? Both of you, Jasleen and Madhya? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is how we will be calculating the height of the cylinder. Okay. Let's move to the next one. So the next problem says, metallic is sphere of radii 6 centimeter, 8 centimeter, 10 centimeter. Okay. So here we are not having only one sphere. Here we are having two, three sphere. So one sphere radius is six centimeter. Plus, uh, let's say another sphere is there whose radius is eight centimeter. And one more sphere is there whose radius is 10 centimeter. So three different spheres we are having whose radius are different only. 
are melted to form a single solid sphere. We are just melting all the sphere together and we are making a single solid sphere. So all the three above one is just melted together and whatever material we got from there with the help of that we are making a bigger sphere and that is spheres. Okay, radius we have to find. So what I said, whatever you are melting, that's volume. And whatever you are recasting, the new shape, that's volume. Both will be same. So volume of this one, that is 4 by 3 pi r cube. Volume of this one, that is 4 by 3 pi r cube. And volume of this one, that is 4 by 3 pi r cube. All the three volume will when we will add them together, it will be equals to the volume of the bigger sphere that is three, 4 by 3 pi r cube. So what we are going to write over here, we are going to write there that 4 by 3 pi 6 cube. This is sphere plus this is sphere volume plus this is sphere volume when everything melted together, added together, we got a bigger sphere, that volume will be same with all of them. And from here, we will be able to calculate the value of R. Are you getting it? So we, ju we just have taken three smaller, smaller spheres. We have melted it and we just recast into a bigger sphere. So all the smaller spheres volume will be equals to the bigger sphere single volume. Let's do the next one. From here, we just have to find the value of R. You can see all the data is already there. 6 cube, 8 cube, 10 cube. Pi is there. Even if you are not writing the value of pi, you will be able to cancel out pi from this side to that side. So better not to write pi, pi value. Okay. Now the next question says, number three, a 20 meter deep well with diameter seven meter is dug. Okay, a well is dug. Twenty meter deep well is there. With diameter seven meter. is dug and earth from the digging is evenly spread out to form the platform. So whatever earth or whatever soil we are getting from here, that is used to make a platform. Platform is in shape of, it's not written over there, but we must understand that platform will be in the shape of cuboid like this where platform 22 meter by 14 meter it's written over there find the height of the platform we just have to find the height of the platform again the same thing whatever volume we are getting from there that soil its volume will be equals to this platform's volume so Pi r square h is equals to length into breadth into height. Both the volume will be same. Okay. The volume formula, surface area formula, curve surface area formula, total surface area formula, every formula must be on your tips. Okay. Then and only then you will be able to solve it. So here pi r value, we already know diameter is 7. So r will be 7 over 2 square h is 20 and length 22, breadth 14. Height. From here, we'll be able to calculate the height of the platform. Is it clear to both of you? Let's move to the next one. This was three, right? Number four. Number four says a well of diameter three meter is dug 14 meters. Again, a well 
of diameter three meter is fourteen meter deep. The earth taken out it taken out of it has been spread all around it. So whatever like we are taking out the earth, that means volume. Whatever volume we are getting of this cylinder of this well, that volume is used to make a like a, uh, we are spreading all around the well. Now, if you will imagine well. Can you imagine this much part of the well is just so like in what we can say in uh, we can only see a certain part of the well when we are talking about the well and if you are looking inside the well you can see certain part is up or maybe not like uh, yeah maybe a certain part is up and rest of the part is just deep inside the earth yes or no that, that's yes. how well looks like right yes. so yes. if we are digging a well that means whatever volume whatever soil came out from total that soil we are using to just spread all around the well where you will be able to spread on the ground itself you will be able to spread okay so i want to say that this is the part of well this is the part of the well which is not visible to us okay this is just uh, just dig dug inside the earth okay which we can see from the eyes but it's uh, totally deep inside the earth this much okay and we are we can stand over here here we can stand and from here we can see the well here we can stand here and from here we can see this well okay now whatever part whatever soil is coming out that we are spreading all around this well okay so it's just spreading all around this well like this one now the question says it is just spread around it like a circular ring so suppose this is the well which you can see okay you can just just uh, just uh, bend down your uh, neck and you can see okay there is a well okay now around it we are spreading the all the soil and at last it is making the shape of a circular ring okay this is the soiled part which we are spreading it like this one with the width of its width is 4 meter to form an embankment find the height of the embankment just a second okay so we just have to find the width of this embankment whatever uh, uh, we have spread all around it that that is the making the shape of embankment and we are find we just have to find the width of like width is given height we have to find so again i am reading the question try to understand a well of Number four, we are doing a well of diameter three meter and height 14 meter deep. The earth taken out 
of it has been spread all around it. Whatever earth we are taking it out, we are just uh, covering all around it, just like an embankment, which is in the shape of. Yeah, evenly all around it in the shape of circular ring width of which is given as four meter to form the embankment, find the height of the embankment. Now, if you are having a well, the way I was telling you, some part will be like a little bit part will be up and rest of the part will be inside the earth. Okay, which you will be able to see from the upside, which like the bucket and everything, which is uh drop it down and then we take it take out water from there so you will be able to see the well but some part will be up only that part whatever soil came out i'm just scattering around that part so again if i'm scattering around that part that is also containing the shape of cylinder only right yes ma'am yeah right jesseline and madhya yeah. So if this much part is outside, here we are scattering all the soil, whatever came out, all the earth, whatever came out. And again, everything looks like the outside part looks like a, a cylinder shape only. So what we are doing, volume of this one, this cylinder or volume of this well is used. It's used to make the volume of embankment right so volume of this well we are using it to make the volume of embankment or volume of circular ring shaped embankment Volume of the cylinder is very easy to find. Okay, what we need to do, it's just a cylindrical shape. We can find the volume by doing pi r square h. R is given over here. The diameter is 3. So R will be 3 by 2. That's whole square. H will be 14 meter and the, then pi. But what about the volume of the circular ring shaped embankment? Again, even if it's kind of circular ring, but that is just a cylindrical shape, right? And do you know how to find the volume of something which looks like a cylindrical pipe? Do you know? Let me show you something. Just give me a second. I'm showing you. Just a second. Yeah. Just give me a second. Let me show you something so that you can relate with it. Can you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Can you see the cylindrical shaped pipe? Yes. Where my mouse is moving. Can you see? It's it is having a thickness. It is having like like uh, on the top. If you will, if you can see two circle, you are able. Are you able to see? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Due to this much thicker pipe or pipe like a structure or pipe like a embankment or ring like a embankment we have to find the volume of this type of pipe shaped structure still it's a cylinder but due to the top one and the bottom one is having this much thicker part 
we have to use the formula for volume carefully okay and let's come to the whiteboard that what we do when we have such scenario have you uh, taken out the area of this circular ring this circular ring if we know the total radius is r and this much the smaller radius radius for the bigger circle it's r and what about the radius of the smaller circle it's smaller so when we used to find the area then what we used to do we used to do pi r square is the formula but for this one we will be having pi capital r square minus a small r square and that gives the area of this shaded region do you know that do you know that just lean and madiha right similarly this concept we are going to use to find the volume of that embankment so the formula for volume of the cylinder is pi r square h but, but rather than taking this r square h we'll be taking pi the bigger circles radius square minus smaller circles radius square into h why we are doing so because eventually the volume formula came from area into height since area this way we used to find it earlier the same concept we will be using over here to find the area and from there only we will be getting the formula for volume are you getting it yes ma'am so let's get back to our question so the question was volume of this uh, so the question now the question is about what is the radius of the bigger circle and what is the radius of the smaller circle so it is given over here that width is 4 that means that means this purple part this part is 4 meter okay we are not concerned about this much part only we need the bigger radius we need the smaller radius so previously the smaller radius it was 3 3 meter was the diameter this is our well so if 3 meter was the diameter this was 1.5 right the smaller radius previously was 1.5 and then you started scattering all around it yes or no Yes, so the smaller radius, small r. I know it is one point five. But what about the capital R? It will be one point five plus four. Can you see it? That is five point five meter. Here also meter. Are you able to get it? Yes. now i said to you that we need to customize our cylinder's volume formula why because volume formula came from the area formula and area if you can recall we used to find the rings area like this only so pi r square r square will be capital r square minus small r square that will give the only the embankment one area okay h because eventually when when the soil came out you are just scattering all around it you are not going inside it now you are not doing anything else what you are doing you are just scattering all around it so you just need that volume that thicker parts volume so r square minus r square into h we know what is r capital r square that is 5.5 square what is a small r square that is 1.5 square into h what is the height is it given or do we need to find it let me check so the question says a well of diameter 3 meter is dug 14 meter deep now that earth is used to 
that earth has been spread evenly all around it in the shape of circular ring. You can see how the shape of circular ring came. But it is not a circular ring only. Ring kind of a structure is there, but eventually it's a cylindrical shape only, just like the pipe one. Now, a ring of width 4 meter to form an embankment. Find the height of the embankment. So we just need to find the height of the embankment. We will be doing this is equals to this. This volume is equals to that volume. And from there, we'll be able to find the height. Is it clear to both of you? Yes, ma'am. So basically what we are doing, we are not doing anything. Whatever just soil came out, that means volume of the cylinder is equals to, we are using it to form the embankment. So since it's like a circular ring, we are using this formula. Now, can we move to the next question? Yes. Yeah, let's do. Number five. A container shaped like a right circular cylinder having diameter 14 centimeter height, 15 centimeter is full of ice cream. A, a container is there. Cylindrical shape is there. Circular cylinder. Having diameter is given. 12 centimeter. And height is given. As 15 centimeter. This one is full of ice cream. Okay, totally it's packed with ice cream. Now the ice cream is to be filled into the cone. Uh, we are just taking out ice cream from there and filling it inside the cone. Of height 12 centimeter. And diameter 6 centimeter. having a hemispherical shape on the top. Obviously, ice cream, softy ice cream will look like this one, right? Find the number of such cone which can be filled with the ice cream. So, if you have, if you have bought ice cream anytime from the ice cream just a van, uh, so uh, that time you, you would have seen that they just take it out from a cylindrical container with the help of a scoop and they just give it uh, on in the, the softy ice cream, this uh, biscuit, they just fill it the hemispherical in the shape of hemispherical shape with the help of the scoop one and they, they, they just give it to us, right? Yes or no? This is how they sell the ice cream, right? Yes, ma'am. Now they have to calculate how many ice cream they sold. They were having a full bucket of cylinder and with the help of that, how many this softy ice cream they have sold by using all the ice creams. So that means they are using the total volume of the cylinder because it was completely full. So volume of the cylinder, that is equals to how many softy ice cream? Maybe one, maybe two, maybe 10, maybe 100, maybe 1000, maybe... 2000. So 2000 ice cream cones volume, right? Both has to be equal. Yes or no? Yes. So we are going to write, we are going to write volume of the cylinder is equals to volume of ice cream shaped solid is there an one ice cream shaped solid which can be used to just totally which can be used to empty this uh, cylindrical jar no maybe there are n ice creams one two three four five six how many 
we don't know that's what we are supposed to calculate so maybe maybe there are an soft ice cream which is utilized to finish this complete cylindrical dough okay now from here if we will put the volume of the cylinder formula pi r square r is diameter 12 by 2 that is 6 h and that is equals to n soft ice cream's volume soft ice cream is just having the shape of cone and the hemisphere so we have to separate it and we have to find the volume of both of them and then we have to add them so it will be volume of cone plus volume of cylinder or uh, not cylinder hemisphere so volume of cone will be 1/3 pi r square h 1/3 pi r is diameter is given 6 so r is 3 h is 12 plus hemi sphere means half of the sphere and that hemi sphere volume will be 2 by 3 pi r cube r is 3 cube so let's let me write it 2 by 3 pi 3 cube let's see here how many cones are there okay so pi 6 is square into 15 here we are having n 1 3 will cancel out 1 3 from here so 12 3 times 36 pi and 1 3 will cancel out 1 3 from here so 3 3 times 9 2 times 18 pi into n is there and here pi into 36 into 15 is there and if we are keeping on one side and transferring everything on the other side it will go and sit in the denominator that is 54 pi pi gone with pi i can see this 36 and 54 will cancel out each other okay 9 uh, 4 times 36 9 5 times 45 9 6 times 54 Two two times three times, then three and five. so. Can you see we got ten over here? Have we done the calculation properly? Let me check. Only ten ice cream. Please check the calculation. Is it okay or not? Yes, Jasleen and Madhya, is it okay? Yes, ma'am. One second. So yes. So with the help of the tub, only ten ice cream can be filled. Okay. We have taken volume of that tub. That means volume of the cylinder is equals to volume of the ice cream. how many ice cream were there we don't know maybe volume of an ice cream and that's how we got the value of n over here okay is it clear to both of you yes ma'am yes ma'am let's move ahead so the next one number 6 how many silver coin a silver coin is there What is the shape of silver coin? Any one? A circle. It's circle. Is it circle? Circle means a flat surface. Okay. Whenever you are saying circle, I will just assume a circular shape. Chips. Is it like a chips with very with no thickness at all? Is it like a chip? Yeah. What? Yes, Jasleen. Please repeat. Ma'am, it will have a chip. 
uh, I don't know why the voice is not audible properly. So I want to say that when you are saying circle, when you will say a rectangle, okay, when, whenever you are going to say a rectangle, I will be assuming this type of rectangular paper. Where can you see the thickness? No thickness at all. Okay. Or we can say, can if I'll say, can you see the height? This much, it, this is the thickness. Can you see? It's just nothing at all. Okay. Similarly, if you are going to say a circle, from my paper only, I will cut a circle and will show it to you and will tell you, uh, is this, uh, this is how silver coin looks like. So now that time you will be able to identify, no, silver coin is having little bit of thickness. Yes or no? Okay. So it looks like a cylindrical shape. Teeny tiny cylinder if I draw. A very teeny tiny cylinder I'm going to draw. Okay, this is even uh, the bigger one I have drawn. I must have drawn very uh, little, very uh, minute than this one. But this is how silver coin, five rupees coin, or uh, like some coin looks like this only, right? Do you agree with me? Because uh, when we are saying, uh, when we are saying, a circle that is just a flat surface, okay? There is no thickness to it. And here, let me read the question properly, what exactly the question says. So the question says, how many silver coin, 1.75 in diameter, diameter is 1.75 and thickness is two millimeter. That means thickness is also there. Okay, if only radius will be mentioned, then also I would have taken it as a shape of uh, as a shape of circle. But since thickness is mentioned, that's why I am drawing the thickness also. Okay, must be melted to form a cuboid of dimension. Dimension. This is we are melting to make a cuboid. Cuboid of dimension 5.5 centimeter, 10 centimeter, and 3.5 centimeter. So basically, in this question, we just need to identify that coin will be in the shape of very smaller cylindrical shape. Okay, where the diameter is given, thickness means height is given. Is it okay to both of you? But here millimeter is given, centimeter is given, all are in centimeter. So we have to keep all the unit in like a same unit, like centimeter, centimeter, centimeter. So millimeter, how can we convert millimeter to centimeter, anyone? How to convert millimeter to centimeter? Freeman. By multiplying or dividing? Divide. Dividing by? Um, 10. 10? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, we just, uh, do you know this table? Like kilo, hecto, deca, meter, deci, Centi, milli. This is this table is very useful. Everybody must know it. If you are doing mathematics, don't know like uh, when you will be you, having a question where you ha just have to do the conversion. So this kilo hectare decameter deci centi milli. This will help you to do the conversion. How? When here each step consists of ten. 
10. When you are going up to down, you have to do multiplication. When you are going down to up, you have to do division. So from milli to centi, how many steps we have to go? From this table only, we can see one step we are going and that to upside we are going. So we will be dividing by 10. So millimeter to centimeter, up we are going, that means division with 10. Okay, if you want, you can note down this table. If you know already, great, because this table is very useful, not for kids only, for you also. Anytime you can get the data with the mix of the normal mixture of units will be there. So two millimeter means two by 10 centimeter. That is the height, okay? We know the thick uh, diameter is 1.75, so we can find radius from there. We can find radius from there, that is 1.75 by 2. Okay, now what I'm saying, volume of this one will be equal to volume of that one, because we are recasting this one into that shape. So we are recasting our cylindrical shape into cuboid shape. So volume of the cylinder is pi r square h. Volume of cuboid is length time, breadth time, height. Will you be able to do it? Yes, Lean and Madiha. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, let's move to the next one. So here the next question says number seven. A cylindrical bucket 32 centimeter high. Let me check how many more exercises are there because we are just keep on doing this one. 13.4 is also there and 13.5 is optional. That means miscellaneous, right? We will be discussing together 13 point, till 13.4 and 13.5 I'll be leaving for you to try. Whatever you won't be able to do, that we'll be doing together. And that's how we'll be just able to finish the whole exercise, Once we, the whole chapter. Once we will finish the whole chapter, that means we are done, right? Done with the syllabus. And uh, if you want to discuss any other thing, like other topic where you are having confusion or whatever, you can do let me know. We'll be discussing that. Okay. So is there any topic which you want to discuss after this topic? Yes. Jasleen and Madhya. No. Anyone? You can write it in the chat box if you want. Okay. Okay, let's continue with the question itself. I believe you you have done like you have done all the chapters like properly and you are prepared for all the chapters. So okay, let's continue with this one. Okay, probability you want to discuss with me, Jesseline and Madiha, you, if I would ask from you only, what, what would you say? Arithmetic progression. Oh uh, yeah, what? Arithmetic progressions. AP, okay. So you wanna discuss AP and she wanna discuss probability. Okay, so after finishing this one, I think it will take one more class and we will be done with this one. After finishing this one, we'll be moving to like one by one, I will taking the topic and whatever topic I'll take that will be helpful for both of you, right? So let's continue with this one and let's see what exactly the next question says. After that, I'll be taking your queries only like uh, the chapter in which you are having doubts. So here number seven says a cylindrical bucket 32 centimeter high. And with radius base, height of the cylindrical bucket is given. 32 centimeter. And radius is given 18 centimeter. Is filled up with sand. The cylindrical bucket is fully, completely filled with sand. 
Okay, this, just a second. This bucket is emptied on the ground and the conical heap of sand is formed. Now, if we are just emptied in, on the ground and once it's emptied on the ground, a conical shape is prepared over just, we are getting a sand in the shape of conical shape, okay? If the height of the conical heap is given as 24 centimeter, find the radius and slant height. We have to find the radius also. We also have to find the slant height of this conical shape. Now again, the same concept, volume of this one is equals to volume of that one because this conical shape is completely made up of the sand, which was there, which was uh, fully filled in the cylinder just now. So this volume will be pi r square h, will be equals to this volume will, that is one third pi r square h, okay? This one's radius, height, everything is different. So we need to write the proper uh, information, whatever is given over here. That is radius is 18 over here and height is 32 times pi. And here one by three pi, radius is not given. I am writing R square only and height is given as 24. From here, we will be getting the radius of this conical heap. Once we'll be getting the radius of the hip, then we can use that radius to calculate the slant height. Okay, so here only I can say 3, 8 times 24. And this pi, that pi will cancel out each other. So we will be having. We will be having pi into 18 square into 32 and from that side what came out pi came up and 8 came r square is there so this is 18 over here okay so pi pi gone 8 4 times 32 18 square and 4 means 2 square so can i say radius is 18 into 2 that is 36 centimeter can i Are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. Once we got the radius, we can find the slant height with the help of again Pythagoras theorem. So it says is 36 and the height is 24. And we'll be finding the slant height over here by using the Pythagoras theorem. Let's see the next one. So the next one says water in canal. Six meter wide, this much deep is flowing with the speed of this much. How much area will it irrigate? Uh, 